All right. Thank you to NOE, Stacy Bay, for sharing this with me. Attorney's license ain't no such thing. Um, as per the United States Supreme Court, the practice of law cannot be licensed by any state, um, small s-t-a-t-e slash capital s T A T. So there's two different states, you guys. See um, Schwer versus Board of Examiners. That's Schwer, S-C-H-W-A-R-E versus Board of Examiners, 353, U.S. 238-239. The practice of law is an occupation of common right. C. Sims versus A. Hearns, 271 SW 720, 1925. The certificate from the state Supreme Court only authorizes one to, um, number one, to practice law in courts. Um, courts is in um, parentheses, uh, quotations, sorry, as a member of the state judicial branch of government can only re represent wards of the court. Infants, persons of unsound mind, see Corpus Juris Secundum, CJS, Volume 7, Section 4. Number 5, A, certificate. Um, certificate is not a license, A, to practice law as an occupation, nor to do business as a law firm. Now, let's go back here a little bit. <laughs> Those of you, we always say, make sure you claim your correct nationality if you are an American Indian Moors national. Now, I was reading rbbaypublications.com recently, and they were talking about um, the capital Indian on their site and made reference to American Indian, right? And then they sent me a video from Bill Cosby back in 1968 I'll, I put the link to that video in the description below. Another video I'll put in the description below this one as well. Where Bill Cosby was explaining the different forms of um, social engineering that was going on back in that time. And there was a reference in it to um, nationality. And they were talking about Afro-American. And then they were talking about the step and fetch it and how the step and fetch it um, there was a skit in the so-called movie industry, which is a lot of where the social engineering stemmed from, was this um, fake media news and um, these performances by the Albions. And then the so-called Moors that signed up for Sambo-type um, stereotypical um, uh, positions. Anyways, so just claim your nationality, your proper nationality, and then go and read the 1968 Civil Rights Act. A certificate is not a license to practice law as an occupation, nor to do business as a law firm. The state bar card is not a license. It is a union dues card. The bar E-A-R is a professional association like the Actors Union, Painters Union, etc. No other association, even doctors, issue their own license. All are issued by the state. It is a non-governmental private association. See Texas Attorney General Dan Morales' letter. As per this letter, the state does not issue licenses and they are not issued by his office. Those of you who are subject to agents barring you from traveling make sure you get their names and then apply the clearfield doctrine go back to our prior videos where you can look at the 1942 supreme court case to sue them in their private capacity for interference for your right to travel the state bar is an unconstitutional monopoly monopoly um see article one section two Tex texas bill of rights b a legal number sign and sign criminal enterprises. C violates Article 2, Section 1, Separation of Powers Clause of Constitution. D there is no power of authority for joining of legislation, legislative, judicial, or executive as the Bar and Supreme Court of Texas are doing. All members of both are monopolistic. 
bar members in violation of the right to work laws of Texas state bar rules at Article 3, Section 2. Enrollment in the state bar, each person who becomes licensed to practice law is required to enroll in the state bar within 10 days before or after receiving a license to practice law. Enrollment in the bar and license are not the same. The bar cannot license an attorney. They had an article here where they were trying to get people, to deter people from representing themselves. <laughs> and I was saying that it was an unlawful um, thing that they had written. Enrollment in the bar and license are not the same. The bar cannot license anyone. It is quite simple to see that a great fraud and conspiracy has been perpetrated on the people of Texas and America. The American Bar is an offshoot from the London Lawyers Guild and was established by people with treasonous goals in mind. They have accomplished 98% of their goals. The world order, the new world order is in saddle now. American people start the job for themselves or before their new world order bosses. The international bankers gain the remaining 2%. Texas and American lawyers should check historical records. They will find that the people eliminated in a power shift, no matter who winds, are the lawyers and judges, for they always have proven themselves unworthy of any trust from either side. You guys remember the story about Jekyll Island, right? Apparently, that was a meeting to overthrow and um, take over the governance. So when they had that secret meeting in Jekyll Island back in the day, there was a book written by, I think his name was Mulligan. I think he's passed on now. Um, but that whole meeting was these international entities who had plotted to take over the governance back in, I think it was 1761. And then, um, yeah, 1861. Anyways, they had taken over the government. Look at the Clarefield Doctrine where it was there was a coup d'etat and uh, it lasted for, well, it's still going on today, but it took them 10 years to perfect the whole um, infiltration of the, of, the, of the governance where they told the people in Congress to get off their seats and die or die. The enrollment and the bar license are not the same. The bar cannot license anyone. And then it goes on. This is a long um, article, you guys. So you're going to write to me at themullings at gmail.com. And I can share with you here. All we ask is for a donation for our time to share. The Bar Association, they sent organizers um, to all other states and exploited and explained to the lawyers there how much more profitable and secure it would be for them as lawyers to join the union and protect it and be protected by its bylaws and canons. They issued to the lawyers in each state a charter from the Illinois organization. California joined in 1927 and a few reluctant states and their lawyers waited until the 1930s to join. When the treasonous act became de facto and the citizens became captives under the system, the lawyers could guarantee prejudged decisions for the privileged class against the lower class. This was all made possible by the American Bar Association to favor the right and have unlawful substituted them and have unlawfully substituted them in the place of constitutional laws. Remember that they're registered in, I think it's London, District of London. I think there's something to do with Fleet Street. So it's got the three branches, the Vatican, London, and then Washington, D.C., District of Columbia, right? So then jurisdiction is the issue. Jurisdiction, jurisdiction, jurisdiction. So you can write to us here for a private email consultation at themullings at gmail.com. You could write to us here for our books, affidavits, liens, and lawsuits, and for these that we read publicly. Thank you to all the international authorities that, <laughs> that you've shared with me this week. Um, it was interesting how Epstein is under house arrest and Bill Cosby still in. So anyways, just something to take note of you guys. Like, share, subscribe. You guys have yourself a great day. You can email us here for our online school tutor class um, to join us here as well for that. 
Um, like, share, subscribe. Have yourself a great day.